The Beginning of New Dimensions in Private Spaceflight The month of April 2022 marked a new milestone in the history of human spaceflight when the private space firm Axum delivered the first fully private astronaut mission Axiom Mission 1 to the space station. The first private space mission was scheduled to take place in January 2022, but its final date was postponed. The Candy Space Center came from Florida when the rocket was launched from Falcon 9. The docking of the Endeavour Space Station took place the next day, April 9, at 8.29 a.m. Eastern Time, with a 45-minute delay. The spacecraft Dragon Endeavour continued its journey for about 21 hours. Two years ago, NASA launched a series of space flights in partnership with the private company SpaceX, when in May 2022, NASA astronauts Bob Banksy and Doug Hurley delivered the first private spacecraft, carrying SpaceX's Dragon Demo 2 to the International Space Station. He set a new flight record and the two astronauts stayed at the station for two months. Since then, three more manned flights of the SpaceX series have been carried out and 12 astronauts have been taken to the station in which now SpaceX Dragon Crow 4 is also ready for departure. The recent private astronaut flight has been carried out with the help of NASA, but instead of the official NASA official astronaut, a retired senior astronaut has commanded the mission, while other comrades have traveled for the first time as astronauts or tourists. This private space mission X. One is Michael Lopez Alegria, a Spanish-born former NASA astronaut who is also the vice president of Exum Space. He has been a member and has participated in Space Shuttle and Suez space missions and the recent flight is his fourth. Other fellow astronauts include 72-year-old American investor Larry Connor, a real estate and technology businessman and head of the Connor Group, and a third member is former Israeli fighter pilot Aitan Stibbe, now 64 years old. The fourth member is from Canada. Mark Pathy, 52, is a businessman and investor. Upon arrival at the space station, Mission Commander Tom Marshburn welcomed the 4X-1 astronauts, while the crew of Expedition 67 from the other station also welcomed the new mission team, including Raja Shari, Kayla Barron, Matthias Moore, and Russian astronauts. Artemov, Sergei Korsakov and Denis Matoev, bringing the total number of astronauts on the station to 11 to 11. The world's first full-scale space mission lasted 10 days, during which astronauts spent eight days in space and took part in scientific research and commercial activities. This is the first mission to reach the space station and its rotating laboratory with a full-fledged research crew. The mission aims to promote the commercial low hydro orbit or LEO commercial market and to represent NASA in support of space exploration efforts to enable more people to operate flight missions. To make Administrator Bill Nelson said it was increasingly clear that the X-1 was the beginning of a golden age of commercial spaceflight. Through cargo service and other personnel programs, NASA has a partnership in this industry that is essential for the continued development of a viable commercial space sector. Demands are rising from such trials, which are creating higher-paying jobs across the country. NASA Axiom Mission 1 NASA integrates responsibility for operations into the X-1 mission program, which begins with a view of the International Space Station spacecraft. It lasts for eight days with the staff, during which they participate in science, education, and business activities. The ISS Space Station is a place with amazing capabilities and an incredible location, and here we organize our scientific and development work during our stay and the interests of the staff are at stake, said the space station's program manager. Looking forward to the future. Botanical and biological experiments on the space station and other hardware will be brought back to Earth. Joel Montalabano, manager of the International Space Program, said research on NASA's biological experiments, plants, Habitat 4, Rodent Research 18 and Veggie Ponds Validation Project will continue on return to Earth, which will be NASA's next space mission. Our 4 Artemis and will be the most important about going to the moon. 
Angela Hart, NASA's ILEO Development Program Manager, says these private astronaut missions are part of our overall effort, so we are also promoting commercial activities in which these astronauts will be transported to the station. These future astronauts are collaborating with private firms to help astronauts improve their ecosystems. NASA's LEO program is working with business partners and other stakeholders in government agencies and indoor offices. This is changing the scope of the partnership, allowing more tourists to access the space station in lower ground orbit and more scientific and commercial opportunities. NASA is paying a fee associated with the services of the private company Exum, which includes the cost of going to and from the space station for transport supplies. Exum astronauts Larry and Algeria are the most talented and experienced astronauts. Other mission experts Mark Pethy and Eaton Stebb explored the sequence of DNA, brain dynamics, cardiovascular system and holoportation or transmitting mixed reality and human image 360-degree tests in space, while Larry Connor performed zero gravity. Cleveland Clinic and Mayo Clinic have collaborated to find out how cellular aging and heart cells work on gravity. Pethy was assisted by the Montreal Children's Hospital and the Canadian Space Agency, while Stebb conducted the experiments in collaboration with the Israeli Space Agency, Ministry of Science and Technology. X-1 is being called the game-changer for future space flights. SpaceX's Dragon Crow 4 mission ready for launch. NASA's commercial program SpaceX Dragon Crow 4 is the fourth long-range mission in the series to deliver four more new astronauts to the space station where they will stay for the next six months and engage in scientific experiments. The four NASA astronauts include Kel Lindgren, Bob Hines, Bob Hines, Jesse O. Watkins and Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency. On April 23, 2022, the mission departed from launching pad 39A, NASA's Candy Space Center, Florida, which launched the Falcon 9 rocket. The name of the new Dragon spacecraft is Freedom. The duties of this new CRO-4 include conducting several months of scientific experiments, including the maintenance of the laboratory and the space station. Lundgren and Heinz signed Chromium-4 in February 2021 and have been training for services on the space station ever since, including working on a new generation of human spacecraft and space stations. The European Space Agency's ESA female astronaut Christophe joined Mission 4 in March 2021 when due. Jessica Watkins became the fourth member of the four in November 2021. Lindgren is the commander of the Dragon Crow 4 spacecraft and Crow 4's crew. He is responsible for performing all stages of the flight from launch to return home and is serving as the flight engineer for Expedition 67 at the International Station. This is Lindgren's second entry into space since becoming an astronaut in 2009. He spent 141 days on the space station in 2015. Lundgren experimented as a flight engineer in expeditions 44 and 45 during this time. He has previously worked in emergency medicine. He assisted in Johnson's operations and served as crow surgeon for the space shuttle STS-130 and Expedition 24. Lundgren was born in Taipei, Taiwan. He spent most of his childhood in England having not graduated from the U.S. Air Force by the time he assisted. Astronaut Bob Hayes is the pilot of the Dragon spacecraft and the second commander of the Crow-4 mission. While on the station and in space, they will be responsible for the space system and its performance. Hines is part of the mission as a flight engineer for Expedition 67, his first flight since being selected as an astronaut in 2017. Bob has served in the U.S. Air Force as a fighter pilot and instructor for 22 years and was a research pilot at Johnson prior to his astronaut selection. Female astronaut Jessica Watkins is on the staff as a specialist. Their duties include dynamic launch and flight re-entry stages, overseeing the spacecraft and working closely with the commander and pilot. As soon as she boarded the space station ISI, she would become the flight engineer of Expedition 67. 
Jessica Lafayette grew up in Colorado, USA. He attended Stanford University.